like the shorter ones. I just like to have Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. Um, I just always like the... Where's the my Callie? Hi. Here's my girls. <laughs> There's my girls. <laughs> hey, everyone. So good. Even they're at the vet and they're... We are going live. This is Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. And we have the best, 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 best. I'm going to keep going. Best, 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 best news ever. As you all know, um, you've seen us advertise our two bonded sisters for, God, uh, back. Actually, they're, almost, they're about a year and a half now, I would say, right? About a year and a half? Yeah. Uh, we rescued Callie over here and Abby. <laughs> Two bonded sisters. We rescued them as tiny, tiny puppies with a whole litter, abandoned in a, I don't know, a shed type of thing, um, as tiny, tiny puppies. And um, we got the whole entire litter, and we also got the mommy, who was Lady. Um, Lady was actually found tied to a tree, and animal control picked her up. She was taken to the kill shelter, and we immediately ran to the shelter and pulled her out. Um, she has been adopted. Callie and Abby known as Merlot and Chardonnay, um, were adopted as tiny puppies by a family, and a year later we received a call crying hysterical um, that they can no longer keep the puppies. So we immediately jumped in our car, and Tiffany ran, and she picked up our girls, and when she got them, we were like... Where are their legs? Where are their legs? What, where, what are they? So we've been labeling them as, uh, where are you going in there, Callie? Callie. We've uh, labeled them as a dachshund mix, and then when we got them back, we were devastated because they'd been in a home since they were eight weeks of age together. The last thing we wanted to do was separate them. And tell us your names. Anna. Two angels sent right here, guys, because they immediately reached out. They are wonderful. They're part of our family now forever. Um, they reached out and they wanted to, whoops, sorry, foster. That was the paper towel holder. Um, they wanted to foster them and open up their home to keep them together. And they've had them now for six to seven months in their home fostering. Mm -hmm. And then I received this email from Yasheen. Yeah, Yasmin. Yasmin, sorry. <laughs> Yasmin. Um, and tell us, Yasmin, you've been following us now for about how long? Um, probably a year. A year. And I saw these two dogs, and I knew Fraser wanted a dog. And Hi, Fraser. My boyfriend and me. <laughs> I had always said you should have two dogs. Um, and then when I saw them, they were adorable. And I said, it's a good cause, and you want a dog. And so here we are. And Carol, <laughs> and Carol and I were home, and I receive all the emails. We all do. And I immediately saw the email, and I said, oh, my God. They want both. We have to call. And Yasmin sent us Fraser's contact. I immediately reached out to Fraser. He missed my call. He called me back. And so lovely on the phone. Pleasure speaking with you. So refreshing. So thank you. I mean that. I mean this. This is not all BS. I'm telling the truth. Um, and immediately, today is Sunday, and they live in Naples, right? Um, and the home is beautiful, and... They're going to go to work with Daddy. They know all. Daddy knows all their little habits. They can jump up on counters. But Daddy is active, and he's going to exercise, and Yasmin's going to be there, and she's going to be part of the process. Um, we just cannot thank you enough, honestly. You have no idea what the process of rescuing dogs as puppies and making, you know, the second we put our hands on these dogs, we make them a promise, a life of love forever, commitment. And when they get returned, we get so disappointed in humanity and we get angry, but then we always have to remind ourselves that everything happens for a reason. There's got to be something better for them. And we're just so thankful that the adopters actually called us instead right. of dumping them or because that was one of the things they said oh you know we're going to take them to the shelter and i said absolutely not um it's in my contract our contract in 100 plus that no matter what if it doesn't work out whether it's a week a month six years ten years these come back to us they're they're ours forever so they're never rehomed they're never given away Right, Callie? <laughs> this is forever? You're going to be forever with your sister, huh? And you have a new mommy and daddy? 
Huh? She just bailed on me. Yeah, she's tired. Tired. She's she's like, I'm tired. They love each other. They absolutely love each other. So guys, our bonded, bonded pair, sisters, Abby and Callie. They are being adopted officially today. They're going home with their new mommy and daddy. Fraser and Yasneen are going to take such good care of them. What? And the two of you, I cannot even put into words what you've done for them. You're just takes a village. Totally, I'm going to stay away from that. Totally takes a village to do something like this. It's just amazing. Who's going to do the honor? I think that you, the two of you, should do the honor. Absolutely. Kiss both their each. Take each dog. Kiss each eye for me. So they never seen If you follow us, you know this routine. So. <laughs> so you never, ever, ever, ever see anything bad again in your entire life. This is a super happy Sunday, a super happy adoption. Thank Frazier, you so th we expect updates from you. <laughs> Isin, you, you know we have an um, alumni page, so that's we have over 10,000 people on there that have adopted, and they send us updates with videos and photos so we can watch our babies and... Send us, you know, happy updates. Great stuff. Great stuff. <laughs> uh, guys, I know you're all asking for updates on our most recent rescue, um, Patterson, one of the worst cases that we've ever seen. Um, he is at a 24-hour animal hospital. So before we finish up here with the happy, happy adoption, we will, we'll, after we're done here, I should say, we'll keep you posted. We're on our way to the hospital to see Patterson and update everybody. Um, we also have a new mommy that came in yesterday we rescued from Miami-Dade, who was um, at the kill shelter with her four one-week-old puppies. Their eyes are not even opened, Mommy Tanya. And um, six lives saved yesterday in memory of our sweet Trixie, who passed away unexpectedly. She is our poster child. She is our poster girl. She was one of our very first rescues, the worst case of a cruelty we had seen. Um, in 2011. So in memory of Trixie, we rescued six suffering lives yesterday, and the, today was just a gift between this amazing double adoption with our bonded pair, Callie and Abby. We had Sunday officially adopted this morning, and Nikki officially adopted today. 100 plus super strong. We will continue with all of your help, your love, and your support. We cannot thank you enough. To all of you who donated towards their care yesterday, we don't even have the words to say thank you. We're just so grateful. So, everybody, happy adoption. 100 plus of Dogs of Everglades, Florida. Callie and Abby are going home. Yay.